Hi, this is the Gem Geek with Jake Talby Goodman. And today we're going to show you how to identify synthetic lab-grown sapphires from natural earth-grown ones. We have chosen two specimens for this video that show very easy to view growth structure. Do not assume that it will always be this easy to find in your own stones. Let's take a look inside of this natural corundum blue sapphire first. As I rotate the stone in the microscope, you'll begin to see straight growth zoning. Notice how the lines run underneath multiple facets without changing direction. This is a natural formation. You will not find curved growth lines inside of a natural stone. So now we'll take a look inside of the synthetic corundum that was made in the lab. Now, as we zoom into this, you'll see a slight curve in those same growth lines. Now, the reason you're seeing a curve is because this was created by flame fusion process. Um, we've been making stones using this process since the early 1900s, so there are plenty in the market for you to go out and find. The process involves dropping powdered chemicals through a high temperature flame onto a rotating pedestal. The chemicals melt when passed through the flame and then recrystallize on the pedestal, forming a long rod-like crystal, which is then used to cut several stones from. You are actually looking at the edge of each ripple as the crystal forms, as each ripple stacks against the next. In a natural stone, you'll only find straight or angular growth lines. Any curvature can indicate a possible laboratory creation. Some tips going forward. Make sure you verify that the lines are underneath the surface of the stone. If you are viewing lines that appear to be on the surface, you may be confusing growth zoning with polish lines. Polish lines are a remnant of the work done to the stone during the cutting process. Use an overhead reflected light source to verify where the lines are located before making your call. Growth zoning will be best viewed using transmitted light. The stones in this video were viewed using dark field illumination. Best of luck out there!